is children, we are much like trees. Planted firmly in the ground, laid gently against the support of the story we should grow into, and given our very own earth day. Our parents, carrying every intention of making the world better. As a child, we find ourselves accepted into the school of once upon a time. And we are taught to want to aspire to graduate with our very own happily ever after. When we were little, our mothers cradled us for years against the frame they intended we grow into, laid us to rest at night and whispered bedtime stories of the adventures we ourselves would create. And we watched, waiting for happily ever after to be engraved with our names. As we grow, we find that the frame falls away. Our spines, like those of books, ready to bear our story on their own. Our parents, assuming our roots are deep enough in this fertile soil, positive that our grasps are strong enough, now watch waiting. So we begin our search for our happily ever after, only to find that there are countless where the positivity that our roots would guide us to our own ever after is the lesson that there is not only one ending, but many after. I, I have found that I am an imperfectly perfect tree. Like an oak tree, my name exudes strength, but my branches tell another story. Each signifies an abandoned, failed, or forgotten ever after, and none are quite happy. It takes a village. It's a group effort. It's it everybody's is. degree, it's, okay? It's everybody's, it's everybody's degree. degree. Everybody degree. It, it's we like sharing. You guys, you're good. Some car karaoke. What? It's out here. Just lift your hands <laughs> all over the building and begin to worship him. <laughs> Have you ever had a reckless kind of love? You were singing over me.
We are more than one simple happily ever after. More than this feudal soil our parents believed in. More than the leaves that decorate our branches only a few seasons out of many. More than our branches. We are defined by our roots, for that is our hold on this life.